My name is Jean-Martin Fortier and I am a market gardener who has been operating a micro farm in Quebec, Canada. And um, I wrote a book called The Market Gardener in which I've described in detail all of our operations, how we do things, why they work. And um, I've added this educational component to my life, being now a teacher, a farmer, and an educator. When you started as a farmer, um, what were the things that you wanted to change? When I got interested into farming, I was looking for a lifestyle that was in line with my vision of an ecological... Uh, yeah. <laughs> was, that was in line with my values of ecology, of being outside, of working for the community, and uh, I've, I think, and doing some things that were hands-on. So that was, so for me, farming was figuring out how to do applied ecology on an every on a on a daily basis, and uh, being part of my community in a special way. So that's how I got into it, for the lifestyle, and we got pretty good at it, if I can say. And at one point, I felt that what we were doing was would be very useful for a lot of people that were looking for ways to do this better grow better food better and so that that's how and why i got interested in promoting and educating people about how to do this and um what was the most important challenge or the most difficult challenge well uh first of all farming is hard work so just doing this line of work in itself was a big challenge. For me, in my path, the biggest challenge was to take time off from what I was doing and, and sit down and write a book. That was a big challenge for me. It took a lot of my time, a lot of my focus and my attention. And I financed that whole almost two years that I took to write a book myself. It put a, a, a stroll on my family life and my friend life. And, um, it was a big commitment on my part. And, uh, but I'm happy I did it because it has helped a lot of people. And uh, you know, a lot of people had offered me gratitude for that, for that time. And so what, what's the best part of being a change maker? Um, I guess the best part for me at this point is to have people tell me that the effort that I've put in is helping them and uh, that was my goal and so I'm very happy about that and from the get-go my intention was not to become you know a persona or a popular figure it was to empower people to become better growers thinking that we need to multiply the number of small farms replacing mass production with production by the mass and multiplying this movement that way and that's the message that I'm getting that people they've read my book they've seen my work and it has helped them become better growers and inspire them to to grow food and so I, I just feel that my goal was achieved and when people remind me of this it makes me feel that all these efforts that I've put into doing this you know, it's been successful and um, Jean Martin if you were in a position of power, what would you change? Well, that's a good question. Well, I can tell you there's power and there's influence. And it's kind of, I'm going to tell you a funny thing, but I've come across both power and influence. And I'm more in line with influence than power. And I think that if I have power, I'll just want to let it go. I'm not sure that that's a good thing. So I'm, I'm mostly interested in influencing things. I'm not really interested in, in you know, really directing them. Because it can go wrong, however we think about it. If I was the you know, ministry, agricultural minister of, of wherever, I could make a lot of bad decisions anyway. So, yeah, I want to influence that more than control it. And um, what would you tell to people following your path? Well, 
Um, so what kind of advice you wish you would have gotten when you started your journey? I think I had good role models myself and um, one of them being Elliot Coleman. So Elliot Coleman is a very famous and knowledgeable farmer from the U.S. and he wrote a book that I was very influenced by and looking how Elliot you know, evolved his career and his writing and how he's humble and how he's, he's not always this person that takes control of everything. He, he just does, he's a farmer and teaches by his writing and he's a good person to be around. And so I've been wanting to be that. So I had this kind of role model and now I'm just, I think I'm happy to be that person perhaps for new farmers or people that want to teach or write or educate on these issues. I think humbleness and I think being simple and real is important and I think not getting caught up with persona and ego and power because ultimately I don't think these things they make you really happy and so I just want to be, stay grounded and I think that's as farmers that's, that's, that's who we are. Shamartan, you just mentioned that um, this is a, um, a time of change for you or that you're going into a new phase. Um, would you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, um, so this is the fourth season I give workshops traveling around you know, pretty much the world and I've given a lot of workshops and the goal behind that was to be the promoter of my book, to talk about the book, to be able to explain why what we do works. I think I've done that and I'm a bit tired of this now. I, it, um, it takes a lot of my person to be here and to meet all these people and I, I, I'm at this point where I'm going to take a sabbatical from giving any public talk and workshop and focus on my farming again and, and go back to my interests in, in learning how to be a better grower and um, yeah I think I'm I'm at this point now where I think I've come full circle with my prior goal and uh, I need to have somewhat of a different focus now and I'm happy with that and um, yeah it's 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 something new. I also want to focus, I want to be present with my family more, spend more time with my, my kids that are growing. And uh, I, I want to work on my farming too, and to figure out ways how to do things, research more, and do that. So that's, that's where I'm at now. What's in your heart that you really want to pass on? Yeah. Uh, I, I think in my heart, is this feeling that our line of work is very important as, as small-scale organic farmers and growers. And I just want to communicate that, that it is a good trade to get into. There's a lot of future and hope in that and there's a lot of ways that we can do this and, and be successful at it and, 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 and raise our kids in the countryside, build their house and, and just be, be, be farmers and be, and be doing stuff that is important. And um, I'm happy to be a supporter and a proponent of that. And I guess in my heart there's the love of the trade, love of how wonderful it is to be doing that and the love of communicating that passion to others. That's really, I think, the passion I have for this is to communicate it well and uh, knowingly that it's, it's changing people's lives because if they get to do things in a better way, they might have better outcomes for themselves and for their families and for the people who eat that food. So, yeah. It's like this notion of passing on, just to, passing to the other what has been good for me. Well, Jamata, thank you so much. My pleasure. And thank you for being a change maker thank you. and for inspiring us.